damage do I want? Please, God, don't let it be Kung Pao Chicken. How do you watch the show? What did you think? Well, I think you need to come out of your shell. Just... <laughs> what is this dive? Only you could have picked this place. Oh, come on, shut up. It's fun. Give right. me a hug. <laughs> We're ready for some tequila. I know I am. Who's doing shots? Get yeah, me. I'm in. Here you go, Ross. Uh, I'm not really a shot drinking kind of guy. Honey, sorry, sorry we're late. We uh, kind of just, you know, lost track of time. <laughs> but a man can change. <laughs> Anyone want me to appraise anything? <laughs> everything you've ever written. No, I mean it. I mean, when I read Euphoria at midnight, all I wanted to do was become a writer. Oh, please, honey. Listen, if I can do it, anybody can. You just start with half a dozen European cities, throw in 30 euphemisms for male genitalia, and bam, you have got yourself a book. <laughs> My mother, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> yeah, any messages for room 226? You okay, Slaughter? Oh, yeah, I'm fine. I'm fine. <laughs> what is with you tonight? Nothing. Nothing, nothing, nothing. Okay, thank you. It's the Italian hand liquor, isn't it? No. It's the one he's licking. She's supposed to be with you. You're good. <laughs> oh, Ross, listen to me. I have sold a hundred million copies of my books, and you know why? The girl on the cover with her nipples showing? <laughs> no, because I know how to write men that women fall in love with. Believe me, I cannot sell a Paolo. People will not turn 325 pages for a Paolo. Come on, the guy's a secondary character. He's just, uh, you know, a complication you eventually kill off. When? <laughs> He's not a hero. You know who our hero is. The guy on the cover with his nipples showing? <laughs> no, it's you. Please. No, really, come on. You're smart, you're sexy. Uh, right. Oh, kiddo. You're gonna be fine, believe me. Uh, I'll just pee in the street. 